King Charles has released a new video in which he makes a heartfelt promise to the people of the Commonwealth. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Info Mate. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. The King pledged to continue serving the Commonwealth to the best of my ability in his annual address to the family of nations. Since announcing his cancer diagnosis on February 5th, he has postponed all his public duties, but continues to work behind the scenes on red boxes for state papers and holds some in-person meetings. Charles is receiving regular treatment for an unknown type of cancer, and has recorded a video message for Commonwealth Day, which will be commemorated by a Westminster Abbey service later, which he will not miss. His speech highlighted how diversity was a core strength of the Commonwealth, and that the union of 56 member states was a precious source of strength, inspiration and pride for him. The King said in his speech, In recent weeks, I have been deeply touched by your wonderful and thoughtful good wishes for my health, and in return, I can only continue to serve you, to the best of my ability, throughout the Commonwealth. His video message, which will appear in the service. He added, My faith in our common endeavors and in the potential of our people remains as firm and strong as ever. I have no doubt that we will continue to support each other across the Commonwealth as we continue this vital journey together. The Queen and the Prince of Wales will attend the ceremony with members of the royal family, but without the Princess of Wales, who is still recovering from abdominal surgery, and has only appeared in public once since her operation in January. Camilla and William will be accompanied by the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, the Princess Royal, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester and the Duke of Kent. The annual celebration will be based on the theme of resilience, at a time when the royal family is facing a barrage of health problems. In his speech, the King stressed the importance of unity for the family of nations, saying, I cannot say often enough that by coming together we create the best opportunities to improve our world and the lives of people everywhere. His statements also recognized the 75th anniversary of the founding of the Commonwealth, which was established in 1949 when eight countries Australia, Britain, Ceylon, India, New Zealand, Pakistan, South Africa and Canada, signed the London Declaration. In past years, some commentators have criticized the Commonwealth for its apparent weakness and ineffectiveness when dealing with member states that do not adhere to the rules. But proponents of the family of nations believe that it allows nations to unite around common issues and ultimately, through unity, bring about change. Charles said, as I said before, the Commonwealth is like the wires in a house, and its people, our energy and our ideas are the current that runs through those wires. Together and individually, we are strengthened by sharing perspectives and experiences, and by offering and borrowing from the countless ways in which each of us has approached the challenges of our time. This is true at the national level, and even at the local level. Today we realize that our diversity is our greatest strength. He continued, wherever we live, we are united by the many challenges we face, whether it is climate change, the loss of nature, or the social and economic changes brought by new technologies. The service will focus on stories of environmental resilience and marine sustainability, with displays representing the five regions of the Commonwealth. William's appearance at the televised ceremony, an essential part of the royal calendar, alongside Camilla, comes after he withdrew from attending the last memorial ceremony for his godfather, King Constantine of Greece, at the last minute, due to an undisclosed personal matter. Camilla will then attend the annual Commonwealth Day reception at Marlborough House in London, to meet UK foreign ministers, parliamentarians and high commissioners. Among the 2,000 guests will be the Secretary-General of the Commonwealth, Baroness Scotland, the President of Malta, foreign ministers, High Commissioners, senior politicians, dignitaries from across the Commonwealth, religious leaders, school children and young people from across the UK. Ideas will be submitted by one of the winners of the William Earthshot Prize, Notpla, 
a company that produces seaweed-based packaging. Writer Sir Ben Okri will read a specially commissioned poem to mark the 75th anniversary of the Commonwealth. Okay that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Please like, share and subscribe for more.